So today's video is going to be a little something of a series that I want to start doing. They're little retrospectives on important Smash sets that really molded the history of competitive Smash. Things that were extremely important, sets that really just changed the course, or, you know, something of like a beginning for a lot of people. And I think uh, the perfect person to do that on right now is a, it's an Ecola set. Normally I would choose a Leo set because, you know, most of Smash's history has something to do with Leo. I just intentionally wanted to avoid that. I make a lot of Leo content, so I want to pivot over to something a little different. Uh, this will be the Gimvitational Grand Finals, Light versus Ecola. So the reason I chose this set uh, and why I think it's important is because this is the first tournament that Ecola ever went to in America. Before then, he was a Wi-Fi warrior and then he was nasty on Wi-Fi, and then he went to a tournament, and I think he got like second or first at Japan, and then he just started whooping everyone. And we were like, okay, this kid, is he actually all that? Like, is he actually nasty at this game? And, uh, you know, we, you know, he, he was invited to the Invitational. He played a lot of people, myself included. He actually beat me there as well. You know, I don't I don't know his entire run. I think he beat a Cola, maybe Riddles, probably Asimo or something. Regardless, I actually also think that was Asimo's first time in America too. Don't quote me on that one. This is Ecola's first tournament in America and the first tournament that he won. And also, this was pretty soon after COVID too. So this is one of the first times that we actually see Steve offline. Okay. <clears throat> so this, this was an invitational, not necessarily a super major, but again, first tournament for Ecola. The start of his reign, if you will. Because he is he currently number one? He is. And Spargo is number two. His consistency is extremely impressive. Oh, what in the world? How did this happen? That just doesn't look like it should break shield, you know? But it does. Light just didn't mash. He just let him get all those resources. I remember being at this tournament, and everyone was kind of just like, all right, well... How good is a cola really? And how good is he going to do? And I'm pretty sure all of us underestimated him. The frustrating thing at this tournament was like the fact that like we kind of all knew, right? That he had habits, some pretty bad habits. But they're just really hard to punish. That is the nature of Steve. Oh my coverage. I think today's a cola would not do this FB. I'm gonna say it. So like if you try to call out one of his defensive habits, then like you could just die really early. Fort air from ledge. That was a, this is such a Steve interaction right here. It's like all right, all right so he's in hit stun, right? Okay, so he he drops the anvil down. Places a block so he can refresh his jump. He slides off and then he just uses a fucking minecart instead of landing. So it's like three landing mix ups in a row. He did a stall and fall, he created a platform, and he did minecart. <laughs> and then he did a normal landing. And because you avoided all that, he's now on the other side of the screen mining resources. No way. Uh, all of us had very minimal experience against the character at this point, too. You come to my channel, you watch my video without subscribing, you better sub right now or else your whole family's kaput, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, just remember that. Is he dead? Does he deserve to be dead? That's a better question. The answer, yes. He's playing Fox Mishima. This was also during a time where like people were still like pretty sure Leo was the best. He was being weird and he was playing Byleth, but he was cooking everybody. There really, really wasn't any Joker. So everyone was kind of thinking about, all right, but what about Leo versus Akola? You know, what about Spargo versus Akola? How will these matchups look? Look at this adaption. Whoa, God damn, he just him up, that entire stock. Like, he fed the needle. Like, look how he just, like, jumped on that. Uh, 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 and. Between the platform and the, the blocks. 
jeez, what a three stock. Pretty sure me and Cosmos were watching this on the sidelines and we were like, oh yeah, White wins, that's my goat. And the next however many games would prove otherwise. A Cola Leo or like 1 1, right? I don't know actually, I think so. He beat him with uh, Byleth, I'm pretty sure. It's like the old number one versus the new number one. It's always very interesting to like think about. Just because, I mean, why wouldn't it be, right? It is very impressive how successful Akola is, not using a lot of the like crazy broken sh that he's capable of. Like Steve's are not using the the hit stun. They had an acronym for it. It was that new tech that was like game breaking, and we were like, all right, let's ban Steve. PMLG, yeah, the one where you like just don't have hit stun anymore. It's crazy. Who was the first American player he lost to? I wonder. Remember when Big D almost beat him? That was crazy. <laughs> Shockingly, it was Joe. Who's Joe? Oh, Big D did beat him? Wow. I didn't know DeBuzz was the first to beat him. It is hard to beat DeBuzz on your first try. You know, if you think about it, Steve's kind of a showdown. Because <laughs> he's kind of like Terry, who's definitely a showdown. Because he's got back moves. And Kazuya, who also has back moves. Jeez, he live with that? What the heck? Fox getting forward smashed at 94 and living by any character in the game. Well, every character has a back air, so are we all show those? Oh, shit. You know what I just thought of? Okay, so, so would forward smash didn't kill it, what, like 90-something in the center of the stage, right? Wood is supposed to be, like, weak. It's not supposed to be part of his base kit. It's supposed to just be like less than whatever his average should be, right? I think that's like a pretty fa fair line of thinking. So then I started thinking about other forward smashes that wouldn't kill there. And I thought of Zero Suit. Why is Zero Suit's forward smash as strong as Wood forward smash, if not weaker? It's definitely weaker. That is crazy. <laughs> why? Why would they make it like that? He actually died to that. Jeez. You didn't pay $5.99 for your character? You're right, that's my fault. Is he dead? No! Oh my god. I agree with E. I refuse to believe that they needed to make Wood Bear kill at 90 so that more people paid for Steve. I think he wins this game because I'm pretty sure light resets, but I don't actually know. Just kidding, LMAO. <laughs> Why'd he hold it? Why did a cola not let go of his head? He's like, good, good game, you stupid bitch. This is before they started optimizing the damage and combos. Yeah. I played a cola and he was doing some fuck shit to me. Like, way more fucked up shit than he did to light. Cause like, he was hitting me with like, up tilt, place the block up smash combos and like, up tilt bear is like just standard now for steve's like that combo just kills too and like he wasn't doing any he just played it close to the chest he was just pressing the a button and have fox run into his attacks maybe he hates you Fucking probably it was towards the end he started hitting me with up stuff god fucking gold forward smash is unfair Like, bro, he wasn't doing this to light. Like, I got hit at fucking, what, 48? I got jabbed at 48 and it was over. <clears throat> Insane. He said, you specifically need to die. Dude, I was at 48. <laughs> what did I do to deserve that? How well does ESS do against the youth? People on Twitter say she does well, but I don't see it, to be honest. It's like fake winning. It's like, in theory, sure, you can play timeout ZSS and like just zare and don't let Steve get close enough to hit you, but that's just not true. At all. It's it's fake winning. Short, the tools are in Zero Suit's favor to win neutral majority of the time or, you know, time him out. But if Steve gets his grubby little mitts on you, you're taking 100 or dying. Steve has minecart, he can always get in. Yeah, he can also just fucking place the Great Wall of Steve too. And suddenly, oh no. <laughs> I feel like when she fights up close, she can't keep up. No, because he has back jab. Crossing up this character is not real.
a lot of zero suits pressure is just like movement based like ending up on like sides of my opponent where like like if they have a bad back air out of shield i'm gonna cross them up behind them if they have a bad forward air i'm gonna stay in front of them and use my movement to maneuver around them but this dude can jump and jab out of shield frame negative eight and kill me at 48 if you actually try to time steve out he just gets diamond so when you do fight up close it's 10 times worse yeah exactly it's like, oh, just pressure him with Zare. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to Zare the wall that he puts between us. What a great idea. Zare doesn't interact with Steve's wall, by the way. I have to hit it with Nair or Bear or something. Anyway, I didn't want this to become about how, talking about how Steve is broken and how Zerusu doesn't actually beat him. I'm talking about how Cola, this is his first time just cooking it up. His first time at a tournament. His first time just whooping ass. Unprecedented. I'm wondering what his uh, his run was, because I don't actually remember. He beat Riddles. He beat me. He beat Light. Oh, no. he <laughs> Wasn't Larry game five? No, he got fucked. <laughs> God damn it. Played Asimo. He played a Cola. Sorry, he played Cola. That one was close. Crazy how a lot of characters NA thinks are garbage suddenly become god themselves when a Japanese player does well with them in NA. Examples include Game & Watch. Yeah, dude, it took Mia for us to realize Game & Watch was broken. Genius, by the way. Steve, we already knew Steve was broken. Yoshi, we had Suarez. We knew, we knew Yoshi was good. Maybe not at the same level. Banjo, on the other hand, I think people still underestimate Banjo. Larry Larry vs. Cosmos play the ending of that set. He thinks about it. <laughs> Larry has literally all of our reactions like, Why'd you do that? 